beyond thrilled to welcome Grammy Award winning recording artist Kelly Clarkson to the show. She has a new album on the way, not to mention a move to New York and of course, a Las Vegas residency. Kelly Clarkson, dream come true to speak to you. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Oh, that's so kind. I'm stoked. Let's talk. So I want to ask you about the album. First of all, 10th studio album, where does it rank on list of importance for you? Look, I, I could be the tool artist to be like, this is the album that's better than all the other ones. This, this album is different from all of them. They're all different. They're all different chapters of my life. So, um, you know, I've been doing it for like over 20 years. There's 10 records now. Like, I mean, even including like my Christmas ones, which I'm going to be honest with you, I love those probably more than all of them just because I love Christmas music. Um, but I love, I think this album ranks, um, I've always been very personal with my songs and very like raw, like as in writing and being honest. But like, I think this is, I've never had a concept album like this. So I've never had just one album about one relationship really from beginning to end, like like all of it. So I've never done anything like this. So I think that's what makes it different and special. Um, but I, I like all my albums. So I, I don't know that like one really holds precedence over the others. Um, I just think this one is, um, you know, I think people, I think people have just been asking me questions for years now, like what happened, what's going on? And like, it's just all in the record. So that's different. Now you seem to come from a generation where I come from, where sequencing an album is super important to have like a story to tell. So yeah. tell me how hard or how easy it was for you to sequence this album, telling the story the way you wanted to tell it. It wasn't easy uh, because my initial thought, um, like even how I started the album, that's been the initial idea the whole time. Like when I wrote, can I skip this part? I was like, that's the first thing I say is, can I skip this part in the song? And I was like, that will be the beginning of this album because that is literally what I said in a crying ball of <laughs> all the emotions on a floor one day when I wrote it. So um, I just knew that's how I wanted to start it because that's how I felt. I was like, I just want to skip to the part where everybody says is coming one day. <laughs> like, it's just so hard and really having to go through all of it. So um, I think anyone that's been through anything like that can relate, like whether it's uh, death or the death of a relationship or any kind of grief like or any kind of high like your favorite kind of high was just released and that's the beautiful and like hot sexy part of chemistry and like all of that so that's in there too but like um I don't know it's just it's it took a minute to get the sequence because I wanted to at first do it like from beginning of the relationship to the end um but I knew I couldn't start with favorite kind of high because I really wanted can I skip this part so we just kind of did it in like waves. So it's like a roll. I ended up going with this roller coaster mentality of like, I'm like, oh my God, this is so hard, but maybe we could still try. And then maybe it goes back down and then it goes, it's just this whole ride that I feel like everybody authentically goes through like in a, in a relationship. Now I've seen you in other interviews where you talk about that the songs are, have been written like two to three years ago. And so I'm just yeah. wondering at this point, are you a bit, for lack of a better word, numb to the songs where like you've now listened to them a million times, you're going to probably start performing them, but like, mm -hmm. are you a bit numb to it or are you still feeling every time you sing a something? Uh, well, I would love to be the person to tell you that I'm numb to it because I thought <laughs> in my rehearsals for this show, we played the whole album on my birthday and did this birthday at the Blasco show here in Los Angeles. And the two previous rehearsal days, like we were just killing it through rehearsals. I was like, okay, cool. I'm like removed from it enough. This is awesome. Cut to the first song, which is, can I skip this part? I started acapella. I legit almost didn't, I couldn't even start the song. I got, I was overwhelmed and it caught me so off guard that it took me a minute to get it back for this live show <laughs> and I was like oh my god you need to get your shit together I was like uh, like I, I couldn't I just I think it just hit me it was the first time like in front of people and like I've been sitting with these feelings these songs for so long so I would love to say that I would I will not be caught up in emotions but I don't know Kelly so <laughs> it just catches me sometimes and I'm incapable of being that person that isn't like in the moment, like I'm not an actor in that sense. Like I, these, this is my life, you know? So like, it's like I'm playing a role. So it, that's it. Yeah. It's very hard sometimes to separate. That's why I'm known as the crier on stage, <laughs> but I just, it's, I'm incapable of not feeling. So 
um, and not visiting that place because I want to authentically emote what that person was going through. I'm not that girl or that woman anymore, but I was, you know, so um, I, I, I can make no promises. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, Here's a question for you. When are you and Pink going to release a single? Oh my God, I love her so much. Like, I act so cool around. I think I do. I think I pull it off. But like, I'm like, so like, hey, what's up? Like, but I'm like very much an over fan of her. So I don't know. I think that we still are going to do more together. I just, we both seem to enjoy like singing together and like even each other's like personalities. Like we're both very real and like who we are like everywhere. So um, I think we relate on that, on that as well. But I don't know. My, I think my dream team would be like she and um, Brandy Carlisle and I just all doing something magical together. Cause I love, um, I love her as well. So those are just, yeah, from our generation, those are like two of my favorite ladies. So, so I just came from a Janet Jackson concert. I know you love Janet. I know she's been on your yeah. show before. So two questions, what is your favorite <laughs> Janet Jackson song to perform? And what is it about oh. Janet that you love so much? How do you pick? Like she has like the, the most gigantic catalog. Um, what was the second part? Let me answer that first. Sorry, uh, I favorite, mean, went to her catalog. Song for you to sing. Favorite song for you to sing. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought there was another question after that. Oh okay. yeah, and also, what do you love about Janet? What's her X factor for you? Oh, okay. So this is my. I'll start with that. I love Janet Jackson because she was, you know, one of those. Well, first of all, I loved her as an actor before, like as a kid, and then like just knowing like her from like these things I saw her acting in and then like really getting in her music because I'm um I think my brother was listening he's like a decade older than me so I got to it a little bit later um but like it was just amazing to hear her voice and like it's so sweet and almost like very innocent sounding right but then she would come in with this like attitude and this feistiness and fire and it was like you can be both right? Like, so I've always felt like I'm all these different people like, inside of me. Like, I, I'm like, well, I can be like sweet and I like sounding ethereal, but I also love like wailing on some rock and roll. So like, I, I love both. And <clears throat> I will say though, if it's probably my favorite, I covered for an entire tour. I did that song every night. If that is one of my favorite, cause it's like a singing rap thing in the verse, but then it breaks down into this like, ah! and, and the chorus. And I, I love feisty Janet. So amazing. Well, we love feisty Kelly. We love you so much. Thank you so much for spending time with us. And uh, we hope you come to Montreal very soon. Oh, thank you for the invite. Don't invite me. I'll show up. <laughs>